episode 7, Off Topic, Adam and Eve. I'll tell you my channel's about things that and games. Adam and Eve, the truth about Adam and Eve. You know, people say that Adam was passing a buck when God asked him, what have you done? He wasn't passing a buck. He was being truthful. He was saying, the woman you gave me to be with me gave me a treat and I did eat because she ate first. And he knew, remember, Adam was being taught by God for 135 years. You don't think that he knew what would happen if she ate off the tree? Come on, wake up. He loved her. He was in love with her, and he would have died with her than to live without her. And that's why he had out the tree. I'm pretty sure he was there, there crying with his eyes out, and he ate. So he wouldn't live without her, even if it was a short time. Don't you see? This is a love story. That God is telling you. You guys think that all oh, the blame is on Adam because he was putting the blame on Eve. No. He was a smart one. He was being taught for 135 years. You don't think that God taught him the consequences about eating off the tree? Of course he knew. It was his job to tell her. You know. Hey, don't eat off this tree because this was going to happen. And of course, the servant came and beguiled her. Hello, dumbass girl. But, hey, what are you going to do? Listen, this is a love story that has been told for ages. Because all the blame goes on him. Yeah. I think if you think about it, because we die, sure. But because he was in love, no. He was totally in love. God made him the perfect woman. Can you imagine that, having the perfect woman? You know? And then she goes and does something you don't like that. Happens every day. <laughs> because they always do that. Anyway. Um, Adam was in love, and that's why he ate off the tree too. Anyway, I just want you guys to know that, you know, you go to church, you learn stuff that's not true, you can count on me to give you the truth. That's exactly what happened. Just imagine. Just imagine that God gives you the whole world under your power. What would make you give that up? The love of a woman. Because that's the same love that God had for you when he spoke you into existence. That's why he came back and died for you. Thank you for watching. God bless. Bye.